Okay, we live in the crib, vibing with Vito at Playhouse Studios. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, and comment at Vibing with Vito on YouTube. I got my dog in the building, man, all the way from that Broward. You feel what I'm saying? County, to Orlando, to Atlanta now. Rob Lynx, what's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Man, for sure, for sure, for sure. Take us back, man. Uh, tell us about the story, man, on your journey and stuff like that, man. So I say it definitely started back in high school. Uh, that's when I really fell in love with music, rap specifically. Mm -hmm. And uh, it got me like... You know, when you just, you a kid in high school with all your boys, you start freestyling in a group and everything. Yep. Um, and I was, like, the nastiest one. So, like, I really, like, I was like, yo, like, it got to the point where teachers in my school were like, yo, I heard you could rap. I heard you could rap. I was like, ah, you feel me? I wasn't too big on all of that. But then it came to the point where I started writing all these notes on my phone, just mm -hmm. writing out super long verses. Thanks. Then I'm, like, making courses. And before I know, I'm, like, creating a whole, like, songs on my phone. But I never recorded nothing. It was always just to like show my friends or like yo like I got yeah, all these face, lyrics. Face. And then one day uh, a good friend of mine, shout out D Seti, um, he's another artist uh, out of face. Orlando. He was like, yo, I need you to hop in the studio, bro. Like I, I have a performance coming up and I need someone up there with me. So you got to start recording and taking it seriously. That's dope. And in my mind, it was like, yo, like it's a big jump <laughs> for me. You feel me? Right. I never did nothing like that before. You, you don't. Absolutely. There's a lot of like intricacies that you learn over time, but when you first in there, bro, it's like. It's like standing in front of a crowd naked, bro. You feel me? It's like you're so exposed. You're like, damn, I don't right. feel comfortable. Right. Even like, right. He was doing my eyelids, bro. I didn't even feel comfortable like doing the eyelids or whatever. Yeah. I didn't want to sound them, you right. feel me? But right. um, it all led to me getting a lot more comfortable. Uh, a little bit down the line, when I took the music more seriously, I met my management or, and now my label, SB okay. Global. Okay. And um, we've just been putting together uh, what I think is a perfect plan to to get to that level that I really want to get to where I, I want to sell out arenas, dog. Like face, I want to be, face, face. I want to be not just like, oh, this artist is cool. No, I want to be like one of those artists. Bro. Absolutely. Absolutely. Shit. If you feel like you want to be one of them artists, you're going to be one of them artists. Absolutely. How important is, face, how important is the word discipline to you? Uh, extremely important. <laughs> Explain. Um, and I can't, I'm not going to sit here and say like, oh, I've been perfectly disciplined on my life and I made all the right decisions when it came to this because there's a lot of like, can I curse on her? Yeah, bro. You fuck around and you find out a lot, Yeah, bro. facts, 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 and facts. So because of that, uh, you're bound to make mistakes, especially doing something you have no idea about. But it's about discipline lines up with consistency because you have to be like, you can have motivation or you can have discipline. Motivation is only temporary. And like, it's like a rush. It's almost like a drug. You feel me? It's like it takes over you like, oh, I got to do this. Whether it's like first 30 days of the year, I'm going to the LA because it's yeah, resolution. Yeah, facts, you feel facts. me? Like, um, but discipline is what keeps you like two or three months down the line when body starts to hurt or like you're not enjoying the music anymore. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, oh, there's too much business. Um, discipline is what really like separates those who are up here from those who like talk about being up there. You know Absol what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, absolutely. So we on vibing with Vito. All right. Explain to the people what's your vibe. Uh, my vibe. I'm definitely just a chill guy. You feel me? Real cool. Calm. I could be goofy. Um, really laid back though, uh, real calm, I would say for sure. Facts, facts, facts. Um, if you could tell your younger self one thing, what would it be? I would tell him a hundred things, but the number one thing <laughs> I would tell him is get in that studio ASAP. Maybe even hop on like Pro Tools and learn how to produce and engineer yourself. Yeah, facts, like, facts, facts, facts. ASAP. So did you, so again, I know you said you were just playing around with the music at first and stuff like that. Like what was your initial passion or something that you would call your calling? Uh, I really... Music was big for me, but I really, I, when I was young, I really loved sports. Mm -hmm. uh, every kid thinks they're going to go and, like, play in, like, the NFL. NBA, yeah, facts, facts, facts. Uh, then I realized, um, and, like, I was a menace back in the day when I was working out, but I realized, like, I'm 5'10". I, I got no crazy genes in my family. <laughs> I'm 190 trying to play, like, on a D-line in a high school football. You feel yeah, me? It's bro. Just not, was you doing your thing, though? Not, I, I, I was pretty good, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to sit here and say I was a five-star recruit, but <laughs> right, I was pretty right, solid, right. bro. Right. But um, it's just it, it ended, I ended up realizing it wasn't a path for me uh, through injuries. Actually, mm -hmm. um, I had a concussion and I had a high ankle sprain that messed up my senior year. And then from there, it just it wasn't the same for me. So I was Thanks. a little lost after that. because It was kind of like, what am I doing? You feel Absolutely. me? Like, well, what do I want to do? My whole life, I thought I was going to do this one thing. And then it kind of like. You're like, damn, like you, mm -hmm. I really have no idea what the fuck I'm about to do. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. Uh, so yeah, music was it took me out of that for sure. For sure, for sure. When you're uh, manifesting something, right, and uh, you're going up, 
how important is having the right people around you to make sure that you get to that destination? It's incredibly important because you slowly become who you surround yourself with, right? Um, if you, the people in your circle are constantly going out, partying, slacking off, just doing everything that's fun, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, not being smart with their money, it's, you're bound to end up like that, you know what I'm saying? Right. Because those are your friends, you want to be with your friends all the time, you want to do what your friends do. But if, uh, it really took me like stepping outside of, I, I was in a frat, so like we went out and like. What, what, what frat was it? So formerly Lambda Chi Alpha, uh, which became okay. his only family because we got taken off campus. I'm okay. Not too much into that. Okay, okay, but okay. Yeah, um, and just being in that lifestyle, you really, it's, it's like partying, girls, fun like not prioritizing nothing i was going to the bar five times a week you feel me i didn't mm. have do it i was doing everything facts but it once this music really came to fruition i had to step outside of that and look at myself and say who do i want to surround myself with and are these the people that are going to help like right take me to another level right and when you when you have like a such a big goal in mind a dream that not a lot of people like believe in or even understand you really uh it, it really makes you realize like who is really supporting you mm -hmm. and who's there for you and who is actually helping you out besides like the, oh, dude, you're so fire, congratulations. Like, facts, facts, facts. There's a lot, you feel me? The congratulations is a lot bigger than the support. For Damn, sure. you, said, you said something right there. You said something right there. So, you know, comparison is the thief of all joy, right? But on the way up, you know, you get inspired by certain people. You know what I'm saying? It can be, you know, musicians. It can be actors. It can be people who make clothes and stuff like that. What was the intricate person or... Uh, or people that inspired you? So I would say, in terms of like wanting to be an artist, more specifically a rapper back in the day, I'm much more of a pop artist now. But even just the music, the reason I was writing down notes and lyrics on my phone is because of J. Cole. He was by far like my favorite artist in the world. Uh, I would watch every interview he did. I would just, I, every, I would illegally download like Don't Arrest Me. All the, <laughs> all, every song I cut off YouTube, the MP3, right. you feel me? Right, you was on that line wire? Oh, yeah, uh, all of it, bro. <laughs> Anything I could just to, like, have it in my, yeah, my facts, phone and school, facts, you feel me? So I was not paying for no subscriptions, but... Yeah, um, yeah he was really... Uh, his character and how humble he is and how he carries himself. Uh, he's very intellectual in how he talks, and in right. his music, he's very open and honest. And a lot of that was inspiration for the type of artist that I want to be and how I want to carry myself. Right, right, for sure. You seem like an open book, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. people, people can, like, kind of, like be around you and then learn who you are just by just being yourself you know what i'm saying most definitely how did you um kind of kind of i would say like lean towards being pop like a pop artist and you came in as a rapper so it was really it was actually um sb himself uh the owner of sb global enterprises For sure. shout out uh, sb shout out sb he was um and i was strictly like a rapper at the time and he was the first artist or first person to compare me to I'm not sure if you know who Louis Capaldi is. I don't, but so yeah. he he got like the number one song in like the UK right now. Like right. He, someone who gets like billions of streams on Word? one of his songs. Damn. Like, and he but it was like a much it was like a it really like emotional like pop like but like heavy hitting notes and I was like mm -hmm. I'm like yo like I never like been compared to this in my life. You feel <laughs> right, me? Like, right, right. I'll get a lot more Post Malone comparisons. And yeah, it, yeah. The Post is a lot more like casual, big artist, but it's a lot more like r close to rap casual. Yeah. You feel me? So. When he compared me to that artist, I was kind of like a, like a step outside. Like, could I really be this artist? Yeah, absolutely, you know absolutely. Um, and that night was like the first night that I went and like Louis Capaldi type beat, looking just like more similar. Started kind of like, kind of like studying what he does exactly and see how that. you could so become great at it he too. He played an inspiration in that sense, uh, and towards it like where I kind of wanted to shift my style. Um, and uh, yeah, that was really like it, it was a lot of me getting comfortable with doing things that I had never tried before, like trying to hit notes that I never like thought I would even like begin to hit. Right. I don't consider myself a singer, singer, cause like, I think it's someone I mean, like, you, you, are you melodic or would yeah, you, would you put more melodic. so melodic? And okay. I do like, I, I, the songs that I have that I sing, but when I think of like a singer, I think of like Bruno Mars, like yeah. bust the craziest notes out right now, or Adam Levine and stuff like have that. Have you heard of a dude, uh, excuse me, have you heard of a dude named Teddy Swims? Oh, dude. That dude is, can oh, fucking yes, sing, bro. bro. Yes. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Nah, nah, like, I've been crazy. I've been riding around listening that to is this one, dude. That's one, I, it's funny, uh, a bar that I work at, uh, they had me like do karaoke the very mm -hmm. first night that I worked there, because mm -hmm. uh, they do uh, karaoke every Thursday. And so I did Lose Control up there. I ain't gonna lie, I did not hit the same notes she was hitting, bro. That's Control! Shit, dude. That dude That's, went crazy. I don't, know, I don't know how to do that. Like, yeah. I just, and I can make, like, 
going back to yeah. my, my music can be very melodic and like singing Dope. but a lot of my strength comes in like everything i do in the background of it too. absolutely so really, uh, bring yeah up. uplift yeah and i know how to like make myself sound good on the mic you know what i'm saying i wouldn't say like i'm like an auto-tune fiend but everyone records with some sort right. of auto-tune you know right. what i'm saying right so. for sure for sure so we on vibing with vito right you know what i'm saying and uh we talking about music man do you remember your first rap that you wrote I actually do. It's 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 funny. It was um man. Let's hear it, bro. Fuck it. Let's let me, hear it let on, vi- on vibing probably, with Vito. Let's I hear it. Got it in my notes. It let, was, uh, let's hear it on vibing with Vito. This is exclusive. <laughs> His first yeah. rap. We getting ready to you know. Let's Y'all do remember it. the ten toes challenge? I don't. Oh, it was like on YouTube. Like bro, this is like 2016. Okay. Let me see. Let's get it, bro. I got like old stuff before even going to the yeah, studio. For let sure, me see. For sure. For sure. <sighs> We want to hear the rap though. We want to hear. We we. I'm sorry to put you on the spot, but we want to <laughs> nah, hear. Nah. We want to hear the rap. It's it, it's it's hilarious to even go back to this because <laughs> it's like, oh my god, this is literally the first note. Okay. Twenty let's... October thirtieth, twenty sixteen. Let's get it. <laughs> I've been so gone for too long. Damn, how the fuck did my life become a love song, man? I mean, she's constantly on my mind. I'm thinking about her all the time as I'm spitting these rhymes, remembering when she was mine. But now she's gone and it hurts so bad. A love so strong, really thought it could last. Life just don't always go as planned. Now I'm just sitting back wishing I was her man. She was always a part of my plan. And excuse me, I'm not trying to rant. This, I, Man, I did, she, did she break up with you, nigga? <laughs> like, like, did she, did she that, break up with you, bro? <laughs> like, like, bro, what uh, happened, bro? Like, uh, nah, I think it was um, some sort of like situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, nah, nah. School, oh, so that was younger. that was based on a true story. Oh yeah, that's like. Oh that's shit. Like, uh, oh, alright. That was yeah. like in high school. My, so <laughs> nah, I was just playing at first, but alright. S- salute, salute, salute. <laughs> Damn, that's dope. That's dope. I mean, you the first person that actually had like their first rap like on them, and they actually like nah, spit yeah, that shit. It, I had a, I always like my notes are like it's like religious right. to me almost right. like what I write in there. You feel me? And I, it's just since I had the same iCloud from all that time, I went back like probably a year and a half ago just to uh, just go to back see. and actually organize yeah. like the ones before I even ever stepped in the studio. That's hard. And then when I started going to the studio, That's hard. and then yeah, yeah, I have like. Yeah. Chapters. <laughs> yeah, facts, facts, facts. So um in the studio, man, what are some essential things that Rob needs when he's in the studio? Uh water, definitely. Uh For number sure. one. That's cool. Um I wanna say something else and I'm not you, you too, good. Uh, I don't man, we straight. Think. We good. Bro. I know. I'm trying to think if my people want me to say it. Uh, okay, okay. Think. All right. Um <laughs> Uh, definitely, I, I really, I, I don't need much in there, to be honest, though. For sure, uh, for sure. I like to be on vibes, if you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. and um, a water with me, and that's that's really all that's, I need to That's like. dope, that's dope. Um, so, when you're making a song, right, what's your creative process? Because a lot of times people are saying, man, you know, I don't write, I don't write. So, the punch in thing is, like, super popular. So Everybody punching in, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm not really a punch in person myself. I've done it before, and I have some dope songs where mm-hmm. I punched in. A lot more of that is, like, when I do my rapping stuff. Mm-hmm. Um... He can actually attest to it because I was doing it on the way up here. Mm-hmm. When I uh, first, I pick out a beat. Either mm-hmm. I, I pick out a beat or like I, some days I just randomly like write something on my phone. Mm-hmm. Like where I, it just comes to me in a spur. Like I sing it out loud. Right. And I write on my phone. I go searching through beats another day. And then like like I was in the car with him right when we started the drive because we had six hours. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I go on YouTube. I find one beat. Uh, I've been looking at Noah Kahan a lot if you know mm-hmm. who he is. Uh, I think I heard that name. Stick season is like season of the sticks. And oh, yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, just that whole genre is really popping. So I've been um, looking at his type beats. And then if I have like, so I had a couple of lyrics that like kind of made sense. Um, toss those in there. And then I'm kind of trying to find like a melody that I could go off of. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm kind of like just speaking gibberish. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, 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 thanks. And then, like once I have that proper flow, I'm like, okay, let me fill this in thanks, with some, some words here and there. You feel me? Um, a lot of songs are different. There's some songs where I just, right. I'll write the whole thing out. But yeah, for thanks. the most, that's what I regularly do. Yeah, so I kind of go through that back and forth and then I can only imagine it like I'm used to it but he heard me say the same thing a hundred times in the car right here that's dope that's dope that's dope (laughs) that's dope so we're in the city of Atlanta man you know it's home of the strip clubs home of the hot wings (laughs) home home of just a lot of shit where are the top five places that you go when you just kicking it in in Atlanta you say specifically yes sir so I'm not in Atlanta often to be honest with you and if I'm keeping it a buck if I'm not in the city that like I know no, okay. I don't step outside like that. Like I catch Damn. me in the hotel room, okay. post it okay. up, I'm editing. Okay. Um So you shoot your you, you shoot your own videos and stuff? Uh he shoots a lot of my but videos. You, but you edit. Yeah, yeah, I okay. do some editing on myself. Sometimes I'll have him do my editing. But okay. a lot of like my social media content, mm-hmm. I do the editing myself. For sure. Um 
that I used to be a party menace and fiend, but the music <laughs> like. And I realized how much more I need time I need to spend on the music if I want right. to make it a reality. Right, right. That being said, I do definitely want to hit Magic City. Absolutely, uh, on a absolutely. Monday, absolutely, I got to. <laughs> how uh, long are you in town? Uh, I will be here until Tuesday. Oh, so. damn, I'm going to be gone. Uh, gonna be gone. Yeah, I was going to say uh, we can hit that Magic City. <laughs> hey, we're we yeah, going to get that yeah, at yeah. some point. For so. sure, for sure. Um, so um, a couple of couple of albums I've been listening to. I know Kevin Gates, he, he just came out with an album, right? Yeah. And he calls his music medicine music because he's healing people while he's healing his, himself. Do you do you have like a mantra with your music too? You like you said that 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 is something that rang true right there. Um, thanks. Definitely for myself, I like to say I, I want my music to be as open as possible and honest. It's like it's like a page, a piece of my heart that I'm giving you when I write this uh, these lyrics down. You feel me? Facts, so facts, facts. It's I, I'm really a big mental health advocate. Uh, Man, health. boy, boy, yeah. mental health is so 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 important, bro. And a lot of people are very uncomfortable talking about it. Even I'm not the most comfortable talking about it, especially mm-hmm. in like an interview. I just met you, dog. You feel me? But yeah, it's. I think it's an important conversation to be had because there's a lot of people uh, that are silently struggling. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it'll never be worth it to to lose somebody because of some demons or some battle that they're going through that they they're too Damn. afraid to speak on. Damn. You know what I'm saying? So even I'm not the best at talking out my feelings, right. but that's right. what the music does for me. It right. gives me a platform and allows me to express myself through Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And hopefully I can people can connect with that and relate to it. That's dope. That's dope. So um again, we all had uh battles that we uphill battles that we had fought. Um, any trying times that you had, how did you get over it? Was music one of the things that helped you so get, get through? Music was definitely uh, one of the things. Another thing I did, which I, I am not proud of and don't recommend, is coping by partying, you know what I'm saying, and distracting myself. Which That's never good to do. It's never a good thing to do. Yeah. But a lot of people, especially my age facts, group, facts. get caught up in that trap. And I say that facts. to say that uh, the drinks are not going to take the pain away. Drugs will not calm you down. You feel me? It's... There's a lot uh, of natural, regular, healthy things you can do to alleviate stress, working out, um, even just being like with yourself, you know what I'm saying, calm with your thoughts, meditating. There's a lot of different ways to, uh, to battle that. The music, absolutely number one for me. And mm-hmm. I say the, the big uh, moment that music really like took me out of that battle was, so I had a corporate job, uh, mm-hmm. like an internship Dope. over the summer. For like three months, it was right. me and all my boys, uh, some guys from Wall Street, literally financed an office for us in Orlando because we were crushing it. Damn. Super hype. Like, everyone is like, you know what I'm saying? We're thinking we're about to be the next Wolves of Wall Street. Yeah. Three months later go by, we realize uh, we're selling a terrible product, high-priced loans, um, like ridiculously high-priced loans, mm. like not, not something you can get from, like, the bank, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Um, very, like, uh, I don't know. It was a very rough three months being at a desk five days a week. You know what I'm saying? Just not really like, is this my purpose? You feel right, me? Is this right. going to fulfill me? Right. Uh, a couple of weeks later, I got into a, a bar fight for. Uh, Damn. I, I, I don't want to. Let say me it find was, out you be hooking and shit, bro. You be it, fighting it, was, and shit. it was. It was because one guy was being really creepy with a girl's. Oh, okay, like, okay. I'm not like one to go out and look for trouble, but yeah. when it comes to like women, you feel me? It's a yeah, whole you got it. You got to be that pr- pr- protector. So, yeah. Also, I was, you know what I'm saying, we were drinking all night, so it, that yeah, definitely facts. played a part in it. Um, but that being said, you can see, like, the little scar I got right here. Yeah, damn. I actually, um, I got a Bennett's fracture, which is like a boxer's bruise mm-hmm. or a boxer's uh, fracture. Mm-hmm. And I, I had a cast in my hand in this job that I'm doing. I got to be, like, typing and everything, mm-hmm. you feel me? So I had to, like, take some time off of work because of that. Um, fucked up that job. And then two weeks later, the office canned everybody. So damn. we were like... So I'm sitting here thinking like, yo, I barely like made any money off this shit, and I thought this was gonna be like the rest of my life, bro. The you ticket. feel me? So like, yeah, you thought it was the what ticket. the fuck am I about to do? So I have this cast in my hand, I can't even get a job. Mm-hmm. That's when the study, like I mentioned earlier in the interview, was like, I, I just pulled up on him one day to kick it. I always was showing my lyrics, and he's like, dude, you have no excuse not to hop in the studio right now. You don't got Damn. no job, like you got time. Damn, let's do it. Damn, that's crazy. Damn, 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 that's crazy. Um, so let me ask you this: What brings you complete joy? Uh, the fact that I get to do this is like, you know what I'm saying, one of my jobs. You feel me? Like, just even being uh, around people that love music, really genuinely care for it, um, making people around me happy, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? And uh, being with people that I love. Uh, yeah. I, I'm always like, I'm the, I'm the person that's on the phone all day, every day. It don't matter who it is. Like, Definitely. I'm in a FaceTime group chat or I'm, I'm, you know what I'm saying? You want like any discords and stuff like that? Uh, 
every now and then. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I just learned about that shit. Yeah, like, yeah. Not too long ago. I'm like, bro, it's a whole bunch of little like. Nah, I rooms. just I love people and I love interacting with people. Absolutely. So I say that really that brings me a lot of joy being social facts, with people. Facts, just, facts. Dope. So when it's all said and done, right? Uh, how would you want to cement your uh, legacy? Uh, I want to be one of the biggest artists that there ever was, coming out of Florida, coming out of America. I want to be a global artist. I want to be someone that uh, people look back on and be like, he, there was no artist like Rob Blinks was. Dope, dope, dope. So we on Vibing with Vito, man. So uh, this segment is Vibing with Vito shout outs. You know what I'm saying? So shout out anybody that started with you, anybody that's still with you, uh, anybody that inspired you, anybody that motivated you. And yeah, let's do it. Uh, shout out the whole SB Global team, uh, Mercedes, uh, SB, Adrian. Uh, you guys are all awesome. You guys are doing a lot for me. Shout out Zay, my cameraman. He right here with me. Mm -hmm. Shout out to D Seti, Dollar Sign Seti. He is um, he is another artist out of Orlando. He is literally paying uh, for the apartment that I live in right now, um, Damn. just so I could be in a good job situation with a job right now that knows that I take trips like this with the music. He believe um, in you, bro. He a, he a real one. Shout I, I out, shout out to him. Nobody else I ever do with that. Damn. Um, shout out to my parents for, for sure. supporting that I'm even doing something like this. You feel me? They're immigrants from Romania. Can you imagine their kids telling them that? They travel all the, across the world, just be like, yo, like, yeah, I want to be a singer. You feel me? I want to be an yeah, artist. Like, yeah. it's a crazy Damn. Um, thing. Shout out to every engineer that I've ever had at Jacob Creative Studios and any other studio that I worked with. There's too many to name, but y'all are all amazing. Um, producers I've worked with, everybody that comments on the social media consistently, been showing love. I'm eternally grateful. Thank you. Yo, so I'm big on energy, right? And, like, when I talk to people, like, I rarely, like, can, well, I always can see like the person that's gonna who they're gonna elevate to be. Like I can already see that you're gonna be like a big star, dog. Like it's, you it's, got a good energy about yourself. There's for, nothing for sure. I want more in this world, dog. And Damn. I'm gonna make it happen. For sure, for sure. Tell the people where they can find you, man. Uh, Instagram, you can find me at Rob Links. That's R O B L I N X X. Uh, Rob Links uh, everywhere on title um pandora spotify apple music uh, whatever yeah you could be on we're dropping a video the 14th as well as a song uh so yeah excited for that for sure <laughs> that's dope that's dope man i appreciate you yes, coming sir, it was a pleasure, Vito, man. Most real talk real talk hey man listen it's been another episode of vibing with Vito. make sure that y'all like subscribe and comment at vibing with Vito on youtube shout out to playhouse uh studios we are live at playhouse right now you want a set that looks like this make sure you come to playhouse studios let's get it